Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Good night for a lot of people, but it's early in the morning. But I want to talk about the Sebastian Rogers case. The missing 15-year-old boy from Hendersonville, Tennessee. Now, I've got a chance to watch a lot of um, a lot of interviews, a lot of interviews, uh, well, less interviews with, uh, Chris and Katie, should I not say, um, more interviews with Seth, and, um, for the first couple of weeks, everybody had Seth back, and it seems like that, you know, for the last week or so, since his polygraph come back, that he fell asleep during his polygraph, that, oh, he must be guilty of something, and no, 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 bullshit. Okay? Straight up bullshit. When you've been, first of all, how many of you have been out walking for a month and a half in the woods, in the trenches, down by rivers, down by creeks, fields, traveling all over the place looking for your son with no trace to be found? When the last person to see him would be his mother, Katie Proudfoot. But yet, a lot of people now want to put, point the finger at Chris because, I mean, at, um, not Chris, but um, they want to point the finger at Seth because they said, oh, he failed the polygraph. No, he didn't fail the polygraph. He was on medication because he could not sleep because he had been so sleep deprived. You don't know that because you've never been there before. You've never been there before as a parent. So how in the hell can you sit there and say, well, ooh, he failed the polygraph. He fell asleep. He knows more than what he's telling. Bullshit. Okay? That man has been putting out flyers. The man has been having gatherings. He attended his son's vigil. Unlike Christopher, unlike Katie, unlike any of the Proudfoots, unlike any of the Bower Sox family. Can you explain that? Can anybody explain that that wants to talk about Seth Rogers? Can anybody explain that to me? I'm willing and I'm glad and I'm opening to hear about it. Please tell me. What can you explain? What can you say to protect the prophets? I have my reasons. I have my thoughts. Who in the hell would sit there and say in an interview with the news, well, one of these days, he's just going to get up and he's just going to walk right through that door right there and and he'll be at home. How is he going to do that? If his mother and his stepfather are in Memphis three and a half hours away, how can that happen? Be serious, guys and women. Be serious. Stop being stupid. 
you know it can't happen. And I will get right here on YouTube and I will say this right now. Do I think I know where he's at? I've got my ideas. I've got my thoughts. I do believe he's alive. Do I believe he's in Galleon, Tennessee? Yeah, I do. Do I got proof of that? I don't. So, can't sue me for it. I don't have proof of it. I'm just giving you my thought. I believe he's in Galleon, Tennessee. And I believe that the Sumter County Sheriff's Department is an absolute pitiful joke. In fact, the TBI is. Look at all the missing children in Tennessee that has not been found. Look in Oklahoma and Tennessee and Texas, okay? The grandmother gets jealous of the mother. And then I think it was another one that close to the situation got jealous of the mother too. So they both wiped out uh they both wiped out the mother. It was a grandmother and a male friend and a male friend and you know the it goes on and on and on. But Greg Abbott Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas, the governor of Texas, doesn't waste any time on it. Boom, shakalaka, boom. They're arrested just like that. The very next day, well, last night, everybody was saying, well, where's the bodies? Where's the bodies? We need to find the bodies. They were found the very next day. And yet in Tennessee, it's day 48, and we haven't found Sebastian Rogers. It's going on three years. We haven't found Summer Wells. And not only that, but we just had a missing Missouri student go missing in downtown, downtown Nashville, Tennessee, right in front of the courthouse, right in front of the courthouse with the police officer being the last one to see him alive. Can you tell me what the hell is going on in Tennessee? Now, granted to you, the body was found. The missing boy, uh, Missouri stood. His body was found. Not because Tennessee, not because TBI. No, 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 no. Civilians found him along the Columbus River. I mean, the Cumberland River. TV, I don't care. They don't. In fact, I've heard they are extremely short-staffed. How can you be extremely short-staffed, but you're supposed to look after the entire state of Tennessee? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, and you take one, two days to say to claim like you thoroughly investigated the Sebastian Rogers situation, and you call it quits, and you back off and say, you know what, we're stepping back. It's because the Tennessee law enforcement. And the TBI is an absolute epidemic joke. 
That's the truth. Why is the Sumner County Sheriff's Office not having any contact with the biological father, but yet they'll go right around with the stepfather who ain't even blood kin to Sebastian? whose wife is the last person to see him alive. Come on now, y'all. Come on. The very last time he was seen alive, and I do not believe he went back home. I do not believe he made it back home. I still believe he's alive, but it's in Cali in Tennessee. I don't think you got to go very far to find him. But the TBI won't do it because they're pussies. They're scaredy little cats. They just crawl up in a rabbit hole and they hide because they are scared of the Bowersock Proudfoot family. That's just my thought, my opinion, guys. My prayers are with Seth Rogers and Sebastian Rogers. Pray to God that he can get custody of his child. And when his child does come back home, when he does come back home, because he is alive. He will not return back to that house. To where the step, to where the mother and the stepfather said, well, one of these days where he's going to walk right back through that door and he's going to be at home. He can't walk back through that door because even if he was to try to, they're in uh, Horn Lake, Mississippi at a campground. And that's three and a half hours away. How's he supposed to get in? Unless a member of the Bowersock family, which only lives 15 minutes away, is around. Come on. Also, the Bowersock sister, I mean, uh, Chris's sister, Chris Proudfoot's sister, is on the Sumner County Sheriff's Office, Sheriff's Department. It's a complete cover-up. That's my opinion. My opinion. Day 48, 12 more days to go before the FBI gets involved. And I hope and I pray to God when the FBI gets involved that the Sumner County Sheriff's Office is shut down. It's just my opinion. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a good one. As soon as I get any updates, I will post on Sebastian Rogers. Pray for him. Pray for his dad and his dad's side of the family. Thank you. Have a blessed day.